today, let's look at a couple different ways we can make the WPL ready to run tires grip a little bit better. Well, let's see what we can do to make these ready to run WPL tires grip up a little bit better. In a previous episode, I showed you how to soften up the ready to run tires using WD-40 and soaking them in a bag. Uh, that did make them softer. It did make them expand. Uh, after the WD-40 evaporated or dispersed or got washed off, after a couple of weeks, the tires turned back hard again, and you couldn't really tell any difference. So, we're going to try a couple different methods here. First, as always, we're going to want to take our tire off. Then you can just pop it off like that. And then uh, we'll flip it inside out. Easy enough. I'm going to take a drill, cordless drill, and we'll shove this up on there. You could use whatever method works best for you. If you don't have a drill, I'm sure you could just uh, take sandpaper or a file to it uh, by hand. I, personally, I'm lazy and I have a drill. So we're going to try the drill method. This is just what I found might work. Okay, so now we can take uh, some sandpaper or a file and try and figure out what the best way for you guys to see what's going on here is. Oh, there's the camera. And we'll do that and it will uh, thin down the rubber you can already see it's starting to take some stuff off um i haven't done this before uh so we're gonna want to do some on the tread side but i think we're also gonna want to hit the sidewall side so we have softer sidewalls So on the sides, that's the sidewall. Up here, this is going to be your center of your tread area. And that's the other sidewall. You can do that uh, as long as you want. As long as you don't go through. The longer you do it, the thinner it will make the rubber. The thinner it is, the more flex you'll have. So let's flip this thing back out the normal way. Um... So with it being uh, inside out and getting worked around in itself has softened it up quite a bit. Let's see if we can, uh, I have a tire around here somewhere that I misplaced. Yeah, a little bit, definitely squishier. Another thing, so I guess that's one thing we can do. Another thing is you can uh, take grab and just to work your way around twisting it at the knobs flexing it back and forth the more you flex the tires around the softer it will become you could uh, also do that inside out and just really work it around good that will help soften it you can also uh, do the WD-40 trick simple green uh, I've heard of boiling the tires I have not tried boiling the tires so I can't really tell you what that will do on these WPL V1 tires uh, they fill up with dirt pretty easily so uh, if we could uh, kind of cut the the treads out like you would on a, a real like mud bogger or something So we could take our uh, 
take some large uh, like toenail clippers and you kind of get every other tread get it right in there without cutting too deep just kind of snip the tread off like so give us a little bit more bite a similar example to that would be actual uh, mud truck tires these used to all be this tread used to connect all the way down and we took and we just cut out in between to give us more area to grab onto stuff so we're going to transfer uh, that actual mud truck knowledge to these RC cars Another example of a tire that works good in mud is tractor tires. And you can see how far the distance between each tread is. That allows for good clearing of mud and it, it can't really pack up. That's what we got on our monster truck. So that's what we're going to do on the WPL. And again, you know what I mean? Tires that grip up good in dirt. We've got large spacing between the treads. <clears throat> And even on these V-treads, we uh, cut it out to give a little scoop so it can really grab onto edges and mud. So we'll head back over to our little makeshift workstation that I got set up by my piece of driftwood. And we'll continue. So like I was saying before, is the more spacing we can get in between the treads allows... Uh, more grip, more grip on these edges, and less uh, packing full of dirt. An example of it being packed full of dirt is the tires how they are stock, is they're packed full of dirt. And the more we can take out, the better, without going through the tire totally. Some uh, snips might be better suited. So we got one knob. Now we're going to skip to. The, now we leave this one. We'll take out the next one. You don't necessarily even have to take out these ones. You could uh, take out different ones. You could take out the these longer ones. No right way or wrong way to do it. couple more of these yeah some uh, like side snips might work a little bit easier I just happen to have some uh, these clippers laying around get that in focus yep and cut these out So you see how to do that, and uh, so now we're at, you can do WD-40, soft no up, simple green, boil them, flip them inside out, and uh, either sandpaper or a file to thin rubber down. We can uh, manipulate, manipulate the rubber by grabbing and twisting, pulling, stretching, bending, and that really uh, softens it up to allow it to grip better. We can cut the treads. And I think that, I don't know what else we can do, but we're going to uh, continue with cutting out every other tread on all the tires. And uh, we're going to take it for a little test spin and see if it helps. I'm pretty sure it will. I hope this helped... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you didn't learn anything here, but you kind of get to see it in action. So if you're, you know what I mean, just worried like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to cut the right one. You've seen me do it. You can see how far you go without going to the inside. You don't want to take out too big of a cut because you could cut right through the tire and you're going to have a hole in your tire. And with the file thing, if you don't have a drill, you could, uh, just do it by hand.
just go around soften it up so i'm going to continue uh manipulating these tires bending them around cutting some treads out and uh we'll get them put back on the truck and see how big of a difference it made if any stay tuned okay <clears throat> so i got the outside row done it is a pretty tedious job then uh so i'm halfway done with one tire now i'm gonna move on to the other side and they'll give you an update okay by taking off all these treads <clears throat> it does make the tire softer and more squishy more pliable we got our uh little garbage bag full of all our little tire treads it ends up being quite a bit so make sure you got a garbage receptacle close by but yeah this is uh looking really good okay <clears throat> i got all the tires trimmed up they look pretty aggressive i'm gonna put them back on the truck that we're testing out today and uh we'll hit the trail see how much better these things grip up be sure to like the video if you enjoy this hit the dislike button if i'm wasting your time and uh leave a comment letting me know what you think but we'll get these tossed on the truck and uh we'll go from there and another thing you could do to make your tires perform better is there's also tire foams you could get that you could put in the tires and you can put steel weights in the tires and that's another thing that will help you get better traction uh i got one truck that's got weighted tires on it and i don't run weights in the rest of them but yeah i'll get these tossed on unweighted no foams and uh we'll hit the hill again okay we'll get the tires put back on but before we hit the trail, give a shout out to your Gen X batteries, keeping the fun going longer. There's going to be a link down in the description on where to purchase your, your Gen X batteries. And then from Bantam Engineering at Bantam Shop, we have this 3D printed tire rack. It's pretty cool. I'll also have a link in the description for this where you can buy that and he also offers tire foams if you want to put tire foams in your tires okay let's hit the trial okay let's see how it does now Oh. A little tumble. Yeah, I got one of the rear rear wheels slipping. One of the plastic hexes is spinning on the back side. Perfect. Yeah. I uh oops. Well, it was just flipped down the hill. But yeah, it was, I was trying to climb up and the one tire wasn't going. So I uh, just yanked the back tire off. Put a dab of crazy glue on there. Let it sit for like 10 seconds and I shoved it back on. Now it seems to be working. There's some other uh, ways you can fix the, the hexes on the rear plastic axles. Some pretty good videos on that I've seen. Uh, you can check out uh, it's Cup Toys. He's on YouTube. He's done. Uh, he did a pretty cool uh, axle fix with uh, drilling some holes and putting some pins through. Oh yeah, I'm I'm really liking these tires. It climbs right up now. At first, I didn't know because the the hex was slipping. The WPL boxes in the back, 
They're available uh, in the link below. Pretty cool. Excellent. And you could uh, further make your ready to run tires work better by uh, putting wheel weights in, in the foams. Uh, you could uh, glue your tires onto your rims if your tires ever slip. Yeah, I would say uh, cutting out every other tread was a worthwhile mod. It, uh, it helped this truck get up the hill. Pretty cool. Um, I'm going to try to look up uh, maybe some different ways to uh, make the tires work better. And we'll try them out and uh, make some future videos. But uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope this helped you. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. I guess we'll uh, we'll try the hill one more time. Driving one-handed this time. Now I got the my phone, in my other hand. Well, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your day. Be sure to like and subscribe. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.